of the people who lost loved ones at 9-11. And the second is the two gentlemen who are associated with it. One, who now it turns out owes over $294,000 in taxes. And the other one, Mr. Rauch, who is now in Arabia, he seems to feel that we almost deserve what we got by our very actions. How can we support people like that when it's so contradictory to what we really want? The U.S. Constitution gives people the right to say what they want to say, pray to whomever they want to pray, whenever they want to pray, in any manner they want to, in any place. And to me, that is what this is all about. It is not whether I am in favor or opposed to, whether I like people or don't like people, or what they do or how they pray. It is that the U.S. government should not be involved in telling people how they pray or where they pray. And that's really the whole issue here. I happen to think that the mosque is a mosque two blocks away from where that one is. It's been there for a long time. There's, this is the, the World Trade Center is in the middle of a community. There are bars and restaurants and, I suppose, porno places and, you know, all the things that big cities have around the World Trade Center site. But to me, it would be a sin to have all of these, a worse sin to all these people die and for us to let the terrorists achieve what they wanted to achieve, which is to take away the rights to do things here. And I'll tell you one story. My girlfriend and I were having dinner two weeks ago, uh, having a hamburger. And there I am with a beer in one hand and a hamburger in the other, and this big guy comes up. And he said, I want to talk to you. I said, sure. What do you want to talk about? The mosque. And I said, okay. What do you want? You know, what can I do for you? And he said, I just got back from two tours of duty overseas. Some of my friends didn't come back alive. What are these people thinking? This is what we're fighting for. He felt, his opinion, that the military is fighting so that people have a right to say what they want to say, no matter how distasteful to pray to whomever they want, even if it's not the same person that he is praying to. And I've always thought that if you want to make sure that your rights are protected, you have to protect other people's rights. And that's what this is all about. And so when you talk about, when you talk about where the money comes from or what kind of people they, the sponsor is, the developer or the imam or whatever, it's, you, you certainly have a right to talk about it. The First Amendment gives you that right. And it's interesting. But it's not the issue. The issue, plain and simple, is should the government tell you who you can pray to or what you can say, or should the government leave it alone even if it's not something that you agree with? But you are telling them what to do. You're saying they should build the mosque. I didn't say they should build the mosque. Well, I said... The gov if I said they should build a mosque, I would be violating the First Amendment. I shouldn't. I'm part of government. And government shouldn't be telling them anything. They have the legal right to do it. And if they want to do it, that's up to them. I was asked did I think it was a good idea. I said, we like lots of different cultural institutions and religious institutions. They contribute to our city. But I'm not going to get involved because I'd be committing the sin that I'm telling people they shouldn't do. I can't tell them to go ahead or not to go ahead. It's not the government's business. But you are telling them. No, that's just not the case. What about his criminal activity?